Hello everybody, I'm Simon Ward and I'm here because this is the introductory blog in a 100 day diary. Yes, because today or tomorrow, depending on when you see it, will be 100 days to the Hawaii Ironman World Championships for 2017. It takes place on October the 14th in the normal place, Kailua Kona, on the big island of Hawaii. And I am so lucky to be going. I've got a legacy spot, which I'll explain about later, but um, here is my... Uh, letter of acceptance for this year's race and uh, I just can't wait I'm so excited now I've got a hundred day journey to go to get to the start line but actually this journey for me started 30 years ago in fact it'll be almost exactly 30 years when I step on the start line and um, when I did my first triathlon but 22 years ago I did my first Ironman in Canada and like all good tri geeks I kept my race number I also have my finishes certificate but more importantly I have my photographic proof there it is photographic proof of me finishing in Penticton um, I tried to do the Greg Welsh leap there for those of you who've seen it when he when he won the Ironman in, in, in Kona he did this leap as he crossed the finish line I tried to do that but my legs were so tired I couldn't get my knees up I landed and cramped up so that was slightly embarrassing in front of all the spectators but hey ho I was happy to finish um, and at that point, I finished it in 11 hours 21. I thought, well, the world's my oyster. That's my first one. I can easily knock an hour or two off that and qualify. Two years later, I knocked 40 minutes off. And I thought, you know, it's only a, a linear progress from here. I'll soon be going sub 10 hours. But injuries and life and all those other things got in the way. I never did go faster than that in an Ironman, in an Iron WTC event. And uh, then I started thinking, well, perhaps if I can keep going into my 50s, I'll be the last man standing and then I'll get a qualifying spot. But of course, everybody got faster. And now guys at my age are going sub 10 hours, even sub 9.30. So it's still a really difficult task. However, a few years ago, Iron Man or WTC introduced a program called The Legacy. And basically, this means that when you've completed 12 WTC Iron Distance events, you can apply to be on the program. You have to fill a certain amount of criteria, including entering a race for next year. So they still want your money. It's a commercial thing. Um, and, uh, and then it's a waiting list. So you apply. And I did that in 2015. Didn't get in the first time, but of course they took the top 100 or so people. So my name went up the list. So when I applied last year, having done Ironman Austria, um, I was high enough up the list. And so that's when I got my letter in, uh, um, I applied in November, got my letter in February. So I'm going this year. So for the next 100 days, I'm going to be absolutely focused on that finish line in Kona. Now, I'm going to be diarising all this in video, in written format, with photographs of all the things that go on, of training, of racing, of um, some of the other things that are going on that affect all of that preparation. Um, and some of the things that perhaps are not so positive things that happen in my life as well. Um, I'd like to think that this inspires other people who perhaps can't get a Kona slot by qualification because it is super hardcore these days um, to perhaps keep going and find another way to get there if that's one of your life dreams. Um, personally, I, I, I know that there are people who think that the legacy is a bit of a joke and that you should only really be standing on the start line in Kona if you can qualify. But my thoughts are that that, that, that um, position, if you like, is reserved for those lucky 1% of genetically gifted people who have lots of time to train. Um, and it's almost an elite and exclusive class. And that rules out the original idea for Ironman. Anyway, that, that's a whole other argument which we can perhaps return to at a later date. But for now, I have 100 days to go. My swim fitness is good. I finished the Great North Swim in an hour and 20. That's 5K in an hour and 20. I've just completed La Marmotte in the Alps, so that's 5,000 metres of climbing in just under 180k. Um, so my bike fitness is good. My problem is the running, as it's always been. Um, I've currently got Achilles problems, like a lot of people. I think they're related to my back, but I'm going to see a surgeon about that next week, um, which I'll tell you about in a future blog. But for now, I'm full of hope, I'm full of optimism, I'm full of excitement, I'm full of enthusiasm. It's, it, I'm just full of it! Absolutely full of it! I can't wait! Um, but there's a lot of training to be done before then. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll come back. I'll keep you updated on my progress. Uh, if you've got any questions, any comments, or would like to say anything at all, please post them below and I'll do my very best to respond. Uh, but until then, um, yeah, keep training yourself, keep the dream going. And, uh, you know, one day 
the chance might be yours. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.